If rides packed with adventure, fun, and a mix of terrain sounds like your kind of thing, then a gravel bike is perfect for you. Blending on-road speed with off-road versatility, gravel bikes allow you to take on the road less travelled and open up a new network of riding routes. Chain Reaction Cycle's staff riders John and Johnny have been bitten by the gravel bug and they're regularly heading out on gravel spins. In this video, I'm going to check in with John and Johnny to take a closer look at the bikes they're riding and the kit they're wearing for their gravel rides. Johnny, you've been a roadie all your life. What is it that appeals to you about gravel riding? It's, it's just something a bit different. Um, it's, a, it's a long season where you're on the road all the time, just doing your long miles in the winter, you're doing your long base miles. So, again, to gravel just really is a way to, to, to break it up. Uh, there's a few guys in work that, that, that like the mountain biking, and I, I, I didn't really fancy the mountain bike. It was a bit too extreme for me, to be honest. But yeah, the gravel was something in between, and it would break up the, you know, the boredom really of your, your winter miles. Does the clothing that you wear on your gravel bike differ to the stuff that you wear on your road bike? No, really, I, I just stuck to what I had. So I had obviously I had all my, my road gear. I, I don't think you need any specialist gear to ride gravel. You must have nailed your riding position on the road now after all these years. Does that change when you move over to your gravel bike? Um, maybe slightly, so I've, I've put the seat post down probably a few mil uh, just to give me a bit more control and just change the centre of gravity on the bike, but uh, really no, I, I'm comfortable on my road bike, so why change? So Johnny, what's the gravel bike you're riding at the moment? Um, it's, I'm actually quite excited about this, it's the, the Rondo Route CF2. Okay. Uh, it's, it's really good for, I can use it for cyclocross racing or gravel riding or even out in the road. Uh, it's nice and light, it's got the full carbon frame. Uh, nice light uh, Stram Rival one by grip set, has an adjustable fork, so you can dial in your race position with that or you can uh, just have it for cruising and for comfort. John, you've been mountain biking all around the world and you've been putting in thousands of miles on your road bike. What is it about gravel riding that appeals to you? So the gravel bike, it allows me to actually keep my fitness levels up, but actually it uh, doesn't restrict me. I think that's what I, one of the things I like about it. It doesn't mm -hmm. restrict me to keep to the road. It allows me to actually get a lot of brilliant miles in during the week, able to make my ride a lot more interesting by taking it off road and going up like uh, fire roads and bridleways. And uh, I like to be away from the traffic as much as possible and the gravel biking actually actually allows me to do that. You've got a wardrobe packed with road gear and mountain bike gear. What do you wear when you're on the gravel bike? <laughs> yeah, um, there's no sort of set rule as to what you should or shouldn't wear on, on gravel biking. I kind of like that. It's kind of like whatever you feel most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. uh, my go-to kit is, it's a mix of, well, kind of road uh, gear, like. Uh, road shorts and road jersey, and a good road helmet. Uh, any spares or any nutrition, I can just carry it in the, the pockets in the back of the jersey. And the Lycra shorts, it just, I've tried Lycra and baggy, but Lycra just feels a bit more, um, just a bit better. But footwear, I've actually chosen to go with mountain bike shoes. Uh, mountain bike shoes and mountain and, and, and clipless pedals. So that's my kind of key setup. So kind of road jersey, road, road shorts, uh, and mountain bike shoes, road helmet. Tell us a bit about the bike you're riding and the position differences on your road and gravel bike. The bike I'm riding at the moment is the Rondo Route and it's the ST which is the, the steel bike. I've just found the steel bike actually a really comfortable uh, solid bike to ride. It's got a twin tip fork. So the twin tip fork actually allows you to higher or lower the front uh, mm -hmm. of, the, of the bike. But if you're coming from a mountain bike background and you prefer a more relaxed geometry, um, I currently have the setting in the, in the higher setting. So if I'm gonna do uh, 30, 40, 50 mile rides, I'm not gonna end up with like a sore back. It's got uh, the SRAM Rival uh, gears. Uh, it's, it's 11 speed, so it's 11.42 gearing. I've actually found that perfect. So I've actually been out and taken some really 
like long steep climbs and the gearing has yeah has, has been absolutely spot on i've not need i've not wanted or needed any, anything else the sram uh, disc brakes and mm -hmm. um, Perfect, you know, you, I think if you're going to go out on, on, the, on the gravel bike and um, just just brakes all the way forward You know, it means you can you can take it out in any condition And I think a gravel bike is also like a perfect bike that you can use over the winter, you know uh, With kind of wet sloppy conditions. Yeah, they're really really good So there you go. There are the bikes and the kit that John and Johnny are taking out on their gravel rides Have you got into gravel riding yet? Let us know any tips and where you've been riding down in the comment section below.